I'm so excited for this video. So if you are looking to improve rapidly at roller skating, you have found a video packed full of tips that have not only worked for me, but things I've actually done in my skate journey that helped me improve rapidly. I give credit to these things that I've done and I also wanna pass them on to you, especially if you're new, but even if you're not and you're an experienced skater, there are ideas in here for you. I wanted this video to be a video that could apply to any roller skater who wants to get better at skating and not for anyone else to be impressive, but for your own progress. So if that's a goal that you have, I wanna help you out and share some of the things that I think could really help you rapidly improve if you try them. In today's video, I'm going to share with you five different ways that you can rapidly improve at roller skating. If you're new here, hello, my name is Brianna. I go by my skate name here on my channel, Simon Slays. My channel is a resource for roller skaters here to help you out in your skate journey. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm passionate about. And I'm so happy to have you here. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you like this content to support me as a creator. I would really appreciate that. I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to jump right into the video. Make sure you like this video if you find it helpful. So the first way that you can rapidly improve at roller skating is to skate every day and when I say skate every day I do not mean that you have to skate every day for a year I did that I skated for 400 days in a row I was the original creator of 365 days of skate and I also participated in the moxie skate daily 2018 challenge and completed that you do not have to do some big year-long commitment on social media posting your skating every day for some people, that's just not realistic. If you want to skate every day, you can do as little or as much as you want to. Set the goal for your own progress and not for anyone else. This is for you to help challenge you to commit to skating consistently. So figure out amount of time every day that you can commit to skating. For me, I just did 10 minutes. That was it. I laced up, I put on my skates, and I skated for 10 minutes a day. And I did commit to a whole year, and I did that, and I completed it. But you don't have to do that long. You can do whatever amount of time works for you. And actually, because I want to progress and get consistent with practicing roller skating again, I'm gonna commit to skate every day for seven days. So if you would like to do that, you can use this hashtag and tag me in your post, and we can kind of do that together. I'm gonna start it the day I post this video. Start whenever you see this video. Yeah, I hope that you join me. I think it'll be a lot of fun. It it's more fun sometimes to do that in community than just on your own, but you're welcome to do it whenever you can. My best tip for you if you're wanting to do that is just make it very simple and realistic and practical and doable for you. You don't want to get ahead of yourself or commit to too much. Just do something like, okay, 10 minutes every day, I'm going to skate, rain or shine, and Think of where you're gonna skate in case you don't have good weather or whatever it may be, so that you know you can keep your commitment. And basically, you're gonna improve from that consistency. That time is for you to skate. And a lot of times, if you just commit to a minimum amount of time of skating, you'll end up skating longer and having so much fun and actually working on skills and doing things that you wouldn't have planned if you hadn't even committed that, oh, I'm gonna carve out this much time of my day every day for this long to practice roller skating. You improve when you practice things that's just with any hobby or sport or interests, especially active things like roller skating. You will improve if you keep practicing. So skating every day is a really great way to do that. You just have to commit to your progress, the time and the amount that you want to consistently skate and if you miss a day it's okay if you get injured or something comes up in your life and you're not able to do it just take a break it's totally okay give yourself permission ahead of time that that is what you're going to do because your person life happens get right back to it as soon as you're able to so yeah that's my tips for skating every day that is one of the ways that you can rapidly improve when i did that i improved so much and just the commitment of skating every day really challenged me it challenged me to get out there and skate and you can't be bored so you have to find ways to be creative and keep it interesting and challenge yourself and as you keep getting more skills you will continue to build on those because all of that practice really locks in those skills and then you build on top of those you don't lose them because you're consistently practicing them and that really is what helps you rapidly improve at skating the second way that you can rapidly improve at roller skating is to get training local roller derby teams will offer free training to skaters who are interested in joining their team. And I'm not saying that you should take advantage of that if you don't intend to join the team, but they will give you 
free training on how to skate and specifically roller derby skating skills. So how to skate quickly, how to turn and stop, how to do crossovers, how to skate backwards. All those skills are part of their training that they offer to anyone who's interested in joining their team. It's part of their recruitment programs. The skaters are the trainers. So people on the team who are experienced skaters and skilled skaters will teach you the skills that you need to learn how to roller skate and specifically how to roller skate competitively on a team. It's all completely free usually because these are people volunteering their time. They really want you to succeed because they need new players on their team and it's so valuable. This is what I did. The only requirement really is that you sign a waiver, you know, for liability's sake. There is a risk that you could get hurt and the team doesn't need to be liable for that. And then the other part is you do need your full gear and usually the correct skates and wheels to skate that specific style of skating. I will recommend practicing before you show up and getting some basic skills like get a little comfy on your feet, don't be shaky, be able to balance and be in control of your own body. I would encourage you to try it out even if you're not sure if you want to play roller derby or be a skater on a team. I would highly encourage it because for one you get valuable training. It's definitely going to push you. It's going to be very very physical so be prepared to work very hard and for your body to be very tired. Also be prepared to fall a lot. <laughs> and be open and willing to learn, show up ready to go, just to cover the basics. I will say, if you get to the end of it, you know, you come in there, you're you're willing to try it, but at the end of it, you're like, okay, I don't wanna play roller derby, it's not for me, for whatever reason, that's okay, there's no pressure, you're not obligated to join the team. However, do consider being a volunteer. Do consider still being connected and a part of that team in some format. Roller derby teams are volunteer run and they definitely need volunteers. You do not have to be an on skates volunteer. You can be an official volunteer. You could be doing the scorebook. You could help coordinate something. You could just help with bouts and working a booth and selling merch. There's so many ways for you to get involved if you do really enjoy the connections you make in working with that team and learning from them. And they'll be very understanding if you don't continue. Not everyone who tries out roller derby is going to play and that's just the nature of the sport. I definitely 1010 would recommend if you are part of a team or you join a team to continue getting training and get involved in clinics or trainings that are offered. See if someone's doing a training and try your best to go to those and participate in those. Participating in a training from something like a local roller derby team will offer you a safe space to learn valuable skating skills from experienced, skilled skaters. That is an amazing way to improve very rapidly. That is what worked for me. I improved so quickly over the amount of time from when I first showed up at my first training to when I completed it seven, eight weeks later. A third way that you can rapidly improve at blur skating is to take a class. You can do this in a group setting, online, in person, or take a personal, private lesson that's more one-on-one -on -one instruction. You want to look for someone who is a certified instructor or someone who has a lot of experience. In person, this will require you to go to a physical location like a ring. Private roller skate classes average around $22 per session. It really depends on the instructor that you're choosing to take your class from. And there's all sorts of different classes. You can take a class on a variety of different skills, skill levels. I think one of the coolest things that is offered is taking classes at an event like Skate Love Barcelona. I mean, obviously, Obviously that would require a lot of money if you don't live in Barcelona, you would have to fly there or travel there. Otherwise there are sometimes local options or you can look online because there's access to so many resources because of the internet. So look into your options on that. There's so many different ones. If I find any specific ones that I think are really great and that I personally would recommend or look into for my own self, I will link those below. So I've actually taken two classes from experienced skaters. They both were skate park rollers skating classes. One was 360s from Vanna from Moxie Roller Skates and Lady Trample. They did 360s both fakie and front side and those tips have stayed with me too today. But that was a very helpful class and then I've also taken a class in Montreal from Bambi Bloodlust. She taught a street skating class and it was amazing. It was so much fun. I learned how to alley-oop. I learned how to do grinds. I really liked the group class because you got to do it with other skaters and you're all learning together and encouraging each other. 
I think that it's really cool learning from different instructors because they all have their own style and they all have their own perspective that they teach from and they're going to give you different tips and different things that have worked for them and then you can apply that to your skating and these are things that you probably wouldn't have known unless you took a class from someone on it. So that's really valuable if you get an opportunity to take a free class or pay for a class do it especially if you really like the instructor and you know that they're qualified and experienced support them take their class you're going to learn something that's going to help you progress many more skate sessions beyond the one that you just go to if you get an opportunity do it wow so this video ended up being 20 minutes long i'm going to split it into two parts so this will be part one go watch part two here you can click this card and it will link you to the second video thank you so much for watching this one if you want to participate in skating every day with me i included that on the end of the other video so be sure to watch all the way to the end so you get the details on how to participate what hashtag to use all that yeah go watch part two see you in the next one bye